single line text. Let's take a look at some of the text options that AutoCAD has to offer. AutoCAD has a multi-line text and a single line text. The text tool can be found here in the annotation panel. If you click this menu, we have the multi-line text as well as the single line text. We'll come over here to annotate and you can also pick a single line text from here as well as multi-line text. But I'm going to try a different method. I'll go ahead and click into the command line and I'll type in text and press enter. Now I've activated the single line text command. I'll go ahead and specify the first point of our text. This is where it's going to begin. I'll click here and then I'll specify the height. I can go ahead and press enter to accept the default of 1.5171 that I have or I can use this rubber band line to approximate the height that I want. I want it about that large. Now I can specify the angle of rotation. Right now it's set to zero which is horizontal like this. I can put 90 to make it go up, 180, 270, or anything in between. I'm going to go ahead and accept the default of zero. I can do this by right clicking. And there we go. Now I see a flashing cursor like many other text typing programs. I'll hold down the middle mouse button to zoom into view. Pan over just a little bit. And I'll go ahead and type rectangle. And press enter, enter. I'll double click my middle mouse button to put everything into view. I'll zoom out just a little bit more because I want to go ahead and select this object. And you can see this whole line of text is one object. I'll go ahead and grab the grip, move it over slightly, and release. Press escape to deselect the text. And there you go. You made our first line of text. Let's try this one more time. I'll go ahead and click single line text. I'll specify the first point. I'll drag to give it a height. I'll accept the default rotation of zero and right click. And then I'll begin typing. This is a enter circle. Enter, enter. One thing to note here that even though it looks like it's one group of text. When I select this, you can see that this object here is independent of this object here. I'll hit escape to deselect the this is a and select circle. Grab the grip and move it just to show you that these two lines are independent of each other. So every time you hit enter when typing a single line text, you are creating another object. Let's go ahead and move these into position. I'll deselect, grab this one, and go ahead and put it there, and deselect again. Now let's try one more time. I'll go ahead and grab single line text. I'll specify a start point. I'll zoom in here. I'll use my object snap to specify a point. I'll give it a height. I'll keep it kind of small this time. And then I'll give an angle. This time I'll snap to this end here. And then I'll go ahead and type. This is a line. Enter, enter. And there you go. I have my line of text. I'm going to double click the middle mouse button, put everything into view, and just scroll out just a little bit more and pan to the left with the middle mouse button by holding it down. And there you go, we've created three types of text. All of them a single line text, except one was very large, of only one line. This one was two actual lines of text, so it created two objects. And this one here had a rotation along with it.